We had an agreement, you and I. I was supposed to go first. I wanted to be buried, six feet under, with enough room for you to come and join me someday. Now, it's just me and the Robins. <laughs> you beat me to it. Hey, Dad. There's no need for you to call around. I told Becca over the phone the same thing I'm telling you now. I'm fine. You know what fine stands for? Enlighten me. Fucked up, insecure, neurotic and emotional. <laughs> ah, she was great for her one-liners. Now look, you've done your civic duty. I'm alive. Please inform the rest of the family I just want to be left alone. I have a surprise for you in the village. It will only take two minutes and I'll drive you straight back. I take it if I agree to this, you leave me alone. I'll leave you and your birds in peace for the weekend and I'll call off the hounds. Right so, I'll get me coat. So why are we here? It's just like Bosco and the magic door. How are you, lads? Jeez, I don't know what to say. Mum left something for you. Thanks for this, Wayne. Dear Tony, you can't get rid of me that easy. This pandemic didn't take me away from you. These lungs had just run their course. Every night, I wasn't alone. As you were there with me in spirit, I felt your hand and your touch until my last breath. You were and will always be my forever happy after. I still remember the day you asked my hand for a dance on a summer's evening in that music hall in Scaries. Dapper and charming and stubborn as a mule. You can sit and watch the robins without me. But don't close off the family. You have grandchildren who worship you and children who love you. Every time you sit at that bar, order one gin and tonic for me. That way, we will always be together. Even if it feels we are worlds apart. I love you, Tony. You made me the happiest woman in North County, Dublin. Love always. Jackie. She was a lady, Tony. And we all loved her. Thank you, Wayne. This means more to me than you'll ever know. He'll be fine. A light for everyone. I'd take my time, try to figure out what's wrong. 